Time for Mission Now. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The Senate West District National Commission for Civic Education in the Bono East region continues to sensitize electorate on Article 55.3 and 2.4.3.1 despite the cancellation of the referendum. District NCCE Director Sue Kletters said the citizens must know and understand what the two clauses are in the Constitution. The National Commission for Civic Education, NCCE, has been creating awareness about the district level elections and the referendum. This was to persuade qualified voters to turn up in their numbers to vote on the December 17 elections. The Sunny West District, NCCE, in the Bunu East region has been keen in the exercise. In the midst of lack of resources and logistics, staff were committed to carry out their mandate. The commission trained pupils who engaged wider audiences through community radio drama programs. Referendum, 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 my year freedom. I am one some acquired deja. Obia etra nagi e wumi. And then the no pay and more free of what one swam. Omony in a babbage. Nasa Danu Druna said, Oh, got to Abana. But modern se won't fa party at a dear, and now won't fa party ni bibia and your own uncle drew the commission also engaged residents in town hall meetings and functions. The president's announcement a fortnight ago cancelling the referendum dealt a big blow. In spite of the cancellation, the Senate East District NCCE is sensitizing the electorates on the amendments of Article 55 Clause 3, which sought to give political parties the opportunity to support their candidates during local assembly elections and Article 243 Clause 1. District NCC Director Suk Kletus said the public must understand and appreciate the constitutional provisions. The people need to know what the referendum was all about. They need to know what an entrenched clause or an entrenched provision in the constitution means. And just as we go on, I am trusting that a lot of people will get understanding of what these articles mean to them. Improving voter turnout is now the priority of the NCCE. We will continue to sensitize the people on the need for them to come out in their numbers and exercise their rights even though the other one have been held. They will continue to exercise their rights as Ghanaians by voting for the assembly members and unit committee members. The National Commission for Civic Education is faced with other challenges. Roof, ceiling and windows of buildings accommodating the commission have become weak and leaks. Window frames are rotten and staff are compelled to improvise. Staffing and logistics also remain a challenge. As a result, most hinterland communities do not benefit from the activities of the commission. And that's it for Mission Tonight, brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.